Broadcasting live from Los Angeles, California. This is Dos Hermanos RC Radio Show. They're smoking, bro. Smoke oh, smoke's coming out? Magic Just... smoke's coming out. Oh, yeah. Hey, you want to stop? Your car's smoking. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's me, El Diablito. I'm here with my brother. This is Dos Hermanos RC Radio Show. And we're back. We are back we're for back. the week of adventure. How are you, bro? Oh, man, it's been been great, man. How about yourself? What is... It's hey, been what, a great week, man. It's what, what is that? What, 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 what you wearing? What you got on? Like, like these, these are my uh, ultra blue light sunglasses to reduce the light from the uh, the screens and the laptop so that it doesn't hurt my eyes. So you know, keep really, my eyes looking beautiful. Does it really work? <laughs> yeah, they really work. Yeah, they filter it out a little bit. They don't make my eyes as tired during the day. Since I'm on the computer all day, uh, it doesn't make my eyes hurt. So it makes it oh, a little okay. easier. Beautiful, beautiful. I gotta save these eyelashes, you know. Yay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, we had a great weekend this week. Uh, my brother and I and his wife we headed out to Azusa, and it was an amazing, amazing place. That's our. That's I, personally, that's my favorite spot, Mikey. It is so relaxing. It's it's so beautiful. The drive up there mm-hmm. is really nice. Um, a little the dirt- drive. The, you know what? The drive is awesome. It was really tranquil. It was peaceful. Rolling down the windows. It was. It was warm. It was perfect. It was just, it just gave us calm and clarity. Yeah. You know, it just, it's, it's, awesome. it's a pretty nice spot, especially uh, for the times that we're living right now, away from people. Mm-hmm. Um, not that we don't want to be around you guys. It's just that um, some choose not to wear a mask. And honestly, um, whether you believe in the COVID or not, I'd rather uh, not be around people that don't wear the mask. But uh, that's another topic, man. We're here to talk that about that or smell your bad breath. Yeah. Brush your teeth, brush your teeth, people. Brush your teeth. <laughs> hey guys, so when we come back right now, my brother and I are gonna be talking about why we like going out to the river, and we're gonna be talking about the performance of the TRX4 that my brother uh took out. Uh, a little bit about the gatekeeper. I'm super happy with the gatekeeper. Yeah, and of course, the low laser nut was out there, and yes, I finally was able to fix my drone. And of yes. course, my brother's gonna tell us all about uh the rebuild that he's doing with this Baja Ray. Uh, something happened with the guys over at Horizon uh, Hobby. Is that what they're called? No, no. Right, Horizon Hobby. Yeah, Horizon Hobby. So we're gonna yeah. come back after this. You guys got to You guys got to hear the story, man. We'll come back. This is Dos Hermanos uh, RC. RC Radio Show. Boom, boom, boom. Broadcasting live from Los Angeles, California. This is Dos Hermanos RC Radio Show. <laughs> Hey, what's up, everybody? We are back. This is Dos Hermanos RC Radio Show. I'm here with my brother, Michael, and I am El Diablito. We were out at uh, Zusa River this weekend. Yeah. It's such a beautiful place, huh, Mikey? You know what, though? Everything was cool, man. The water, you I know you're a little tentative of getting into the water, though, but, oh, oh, man, yeah, yeah, I, that water was amazing, amazing, amazing. It cold, was amazingly but... cold. And uh, us Latinos, we have this thing where our parents tell us, uh, don't go out without your shoes because the floor is pretty cold. You're gonna get thick. <laughs> so, anyways, I told my brother, "Man, I don't know if I should take my water shoes." And I just take them just in case. And uh, sure enough, my brother got in and he looked comfortable. And I said, "All right." So I took off my hiking boots and I threw on my water shoes. And oh my goodness, it was so cold, man. It was, but though, wasn't it refreshing though? And like you said, man, your your bottom half was cold, but your top half was hot. Because yeah. you know, it, but it was refreshing overall. Yeah. But don't forget those bug bites, man. One thing we gotta take next time is bug spray, man. I, you know what? I, I've never we've never gotten bit so bad like uh, hmm. we did this. I mean, it's winter and during the summer, I don't remember getting bit as much of the mosquitoes. No. But uh, eventually, we did get bit. Yeah. And uh, talking about mosquitoes, bro, you took out your TRX four. Uh, it, it did amazing, bro, man. Yes, it I, did. Man, I haven't taken out the fun. TRX in. A couple of weeks. It's just been a while. I just almost forgot how much fun it is, and having that fusion engine in there, the two in one from uh, Hobby Wing. Ugh, man, the way it just performed and the way it just went over the rocks was amazing. And before I put it back on the shelf, I had redid the shocks, I redid the suspension, I cleaned up everything to make sure it was working perfect. And taking it back to the river, oh, it was just amazing. Just the articulation on the RC, it was just grabbing onto the rocks. And I was telling my brother, I, I, read, I already had broken in the tires because of the flat irons. And man, it was just, even in wet, it was awesome. It was just climbing over the log. And 
you know, how how did your gatekeeper perform out there? Dude? How was it? I was impressed with the gatekeeper. It, it did way better than than I, I really expected it to. Um, it, it really did climb a lot of those nice slippery rocks. It did. And uh, there was this point where I had invited you because I had found a nice, nice solid climb. And I asked you to come down and do it. And and you, with your TRX4, you climbed it nice and easy. Mm-hmm. And um, I was a little frustrated because you and I get competitive. You know, you like right, to, do, I, I, hate, I hate being bullied. I'll be honest with you. I hate when you and your wife start bullying me. And you guys say it's Nobody's bull- bullying you. But it, I, I just, <laughs> it didn't work. I hate it. But anyways, so it was pretty challenging. And uh, eventually it did make it... Um, it was solid, man. It was solid all afternoon. Um, there was a, this other part where we found that it was a two-part rock, and uh, yours had a little difficulty yeah, uh, did. climbing up. Uh, I think a lot to do, had to do with the wire, the wires, the, the wheels being wet and not gripping because it would climb up, and then it would just slide down the way down. And then on, on the gatekeeper, not for me, because it, it did a climb, and then it did like the spider. We're looking at it right now. Uh, it, it did a spider climb, and then it just slid over, and it just climbed over nice and easy. And then the second part of the rock was kind of like a notch, and it was slippery. It's kind of rock, slippery rock, and mine climbed it pretty good. And yeah. yours had difficult, man. It was the tires, definitely. It's a good way to see the, the difference of tires. That's how I see it. Yeah, definitely. I think... It's just finding the right line. It's just, again, it's the whole setup is a lot different because you're looking at yours. Your setup is a lot smaller than mine because I'm using the defender, uh, defender chassis. So I haven't shortened the wheelbase up. So I have the longer wheelbase as well. So that could probably be one of the See, cases. And, and, as well. and that's what you, that's how you beat me up on that rock. Once again, we're seeing it mm-hmm. here on video. Uh, see how yours climbs it nice and easy. Mm-hmm. It climbs it nice and easy because you have the the, the longer the longer wheelbase. The longer wheelbase makes a difference. Mine is shorter, so it's a little harder for it to. It was actually kind of turtling a bit until you punched it, and then it obviously it went up. Yeah. But that's yeah. not my style of climbing, man. I like it to be smooth, you know. But yeah, sometimes uh, you gotta punch it. You sometimes in real life you gotta punch it to get over that rock, though. You just gotta shoot it over. Yeah. You know, it's not the prettiest, but it does the job, though. That's right. So, um, guys, we're, we're here. This is Dos Hermanos RC Radio Show. Super excited that you guys are here. Dun, dun, dun. Um, uh, when we come back, I'm going to ask my brother what the issue was with um, him crossing a river with two logs that were there. And because uh, I made it, it was easy breezy for me. And uh, I want to know what happened to my brother because he got he was getting really frustrated, guys. So when we come back, we're going to hear his story. And also, we're going to hear about the drone. Um, I, I was able to fix it. And then, uh, I want to hear about what happened with you and the customer service over at horizon uh, hobby, bro. So when we come back, this is Dos Hermanos RC radio show. Broadcasting live from Los Angeles, California. This is Dos Hermanos RC radio show. Hey, what's up? Everybody? All right, guys. This is Dos Hermanos RC radio <laughs> show. My brother, Mike, him and he's looking his Pikachu. Pikachu, uh, Pikachu. Like Pikachu today, and I'm Diablito, and uh, like I just mentioned, this is Dos Hermanos RC Radio Show. Bro, where should they follow us? They should follow us down at uh, Instagram at Dos Hermanos RC. You can definitely find my brother and myself there, uh, or you could, you know, if you're here already on YouTube, Dos Hermanos RC at, uh, on YouTube as well. Nice. All right. Uh, we went this weekend to Azusa River. Yeah. We found this beautiful spot. And it's one of my favorite spots, Mikey. It's like, like you said earlier, it's so relaxing and, and, and comforting. And, and, and it's awesome because there's nobody there early in the morning. Uh, it's a bit dirty, though, because a lot of the raza, uh, because that's how I see it. And, and I don't mind putting them on blast, you know, or, or putting shade on them. But there's some dirty ass motherfuckers, man. You know what, guys? It, it just follows along with everybody. And I think I've seen on the post a few times. It's like, if you're on the trail, pick it up, throw it away, man. Keep our trails nice and clean, regardless if you're out there hiking or, or even running your RCs, man. If you see trash, pick it up, keep it clean, man. And I think that's just the most important thing. It's just, you know, it's sad to see sometimes when we go out there on the trail that everybody has trash out there. You know, there's trash, and, you know. And they leave it there. Just, and leave it. And yeah, they, we've seen, we've seen dirty diapers. We've seen homemade sh- shitters. I'm like, come on, people, hey, you know. That, that home, 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 <laughs> I'll post a picture up right now so they could see it. it it's, and, it, 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 us Latinos come up with creative ideas. I'm sure that uh, 
other rasas do it as well, but they got this bucket and then they put the pool noodle around it so you could take a nice decent shit when you're you're out there. Yeah, but come on, people, pick it up. There, you know what? You know what TV makes it sad? There's a dumpster right at the beginning of the trail. Just pick it up, and it's what? There's like three or four. Yeah, there's like fifty yards away. Just throw your stuff away. People, just throw your. You know, Mother Nature has treated us so good. Don't treat it bad. Don't treat it bad, man. Hey, Mikey. No. So, um, what happened, bro? Um, your TRX4 was doing amazing, or your Defenders it was doing amazing. And uh, what happened? You just couldn't cross that that log, bro. I mean, you know what? I you know what? It got camera shy. It was that. That's what it was. It was. It got camera shy. I did it a couple times on the way at the beginning, and then once we started recording, I guess I was trying to show off. Hey, it happens. Sometimes I get across the log. I think the problem was well, it the tires, happen. or, or no? Nope. It was just the whole setup. I was just eager to get it across and try to show off and right. try to make us look look a look as cool as possible. I think that's that what was it was. Good, good footage, man. Oh, and it just wouldn't. It, wouldn't, it wasn't happening. It, it wasn't happening. And then the rear, was it the rear driver's side tire kept slipping off or wouldn't climb onto the rock. So for whatever reason, they just didn't get it on video. But hey, you know what, though? At the end of the day, it did make it across before we sh started shooting the video. But it, ha it happens. This is RC lifestyle or hashtag RC life. Exciting, man, because uh, a lot of people don't understand why we do it. But it's just, uh, it's like golf. I, honestly, I could compare it to golf because you're trying to hit a little freaking ball into a hole and you got to kind of uh, strategize for it, right? Well, and sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't, you know? And, 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 and that's what our life thing. is all about, man, because yeah. you got to find the right line. And uh, unfortunately, you couldn't find it. And, and as you can see yeah. here, we're seeing the gatekeeper crossing yeah. it with ease, looking beautiful. Look at that, Mikey. Look at that. It's, 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 look and you want to talk about bullying but the minute we start talking about you you start talking don't make fun of me you and steph always make fun no 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 tranquilo tranquilo humble yourself homeboy humble yourself hey so uh the laser the, the laser nut made it the laser nut oh my god so we took the laser nut out there it was at home bro man it was going over those rocks like it was nothing it was just bouncing all over the place man it reminded me of the uh Happy dog song, man. It was just like boom, 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 just rocking all over it. So Steph got a little hungry and she went to the car because we packed the lunch and she left me with the laser knot. <laughs> me being me, you know, I started messing with the settings a little bit more and putting it at 100% and started just driving around. Loved it. Found that little cliff we were, we were at and I wanted to get a good shot of, you know, jumping over the, over the little ravine or the little the little cliff yeah and we heard it bottom out i didn't pay attention to it came back around comes up the other way makes a nice little jump but i realized that the suspension didn't come back down and flex it, right. it got stuck like this and i'm like oh no and i ended up we ended up losing what the spring and the the base of the uh spring cap Older, yeah. so we lost that but we were lucky enough that that's the only thing that broke and we were able to find those stuff and we were able to put it back together that it was same just day. crazy though how we found it, man. Can you guys imagine all those rocks? There's nothing but rocks, man. And, and my brother and I just started using our, our sight to, to, to pinpoint these. We, we, we retraced our steps. First, we spawned the spring, which is right away, which is awesome. But trying to find that little that little cap or the bottom. The bot oh. Eyes of an eagle, bro. I still got. Eyes of an eagle, man. <laughs> what you're, you're, are you gonna plug in that? <laughs> what LASIK? There you go. It's because you got LASIK, man. Nah, I'm not That's why. I don't have glasses. <laughs> nah, but it, 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 it was a good time, man. And 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 speaking of you breaking the the low C, uh, yeah. laser nut, uh, you got. Um, I was kind of happy that that happened because of what it had done last week to my drone. And when we come back, if you haven't heard the story, you'll hear about the lozy laser nut versus the drone story once again if you're tired of it <laughs> you're gonna hear it again and if you haven't, you'll hear about it when we come back and of course mikey you gotta oh, no. tell me what happened you gotta tell oh, me no. what happened with customer service over at horizon hobby yeah uh, we'll come back this is dos hermanos rc radio show broadcasting live from los angeles california this is dos hermanos rc radio show <laughs> All right, guys, we are back. This is Dos Hermanos RC Radio Show. My brother, Mikey, and I am Gablito. Guys, please follow you, us at Dos Hermanos RC on Instagram or follow us down or subscribe and like down at the uh, YouTube channel here. 
Right. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell button so that you could, you know, get notification of any update videos, uh, text, specs, whatever we might be doing at yeah. the moment. So please give us a us. subscribe on our uh, YouTube channel as well. I know you're on it now. Give it a, 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 a little subscribe. A su and of course, subscribe and a comment like comment below. We are just two normal guys that got into this hobby um, back, I mean, in, almost about it, back in August, back in August. And, but the uh, thing about getting into all this is, you know, we definitely want to educate the newcomers that are coming in. And yeah, we're there's sure. so we're much, there's so much things out there. There's a lot of RSCs out there. So my brother and I haven't even touched the surface of it, but we, we're trying, we're definitely trying and trying to give you guys feedback on, you know, the next stuff coming up. What do we think about our TRX versus the, the Enduro and, and all that? Uh, so we ended up picking up Bajas. I'm a little bit more rough up when it comes down to the RCs because I want to see, I want to test it to the max. What breaks, what doesn't, what's good and what's bad about it. Yeah. What I did notice about the Baja was that after, I think I had told Steph, I think I ran already good 10 batteries on there already. And I'm running both 2S and 3S on there. And I told my brother, man, it's starting to look like a lower rider, man. It was hanging over the 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 what the fenders were hanging over the wheel. It was starting to look like a low rider. So it kind of upset me a little bit. I YouTube it, you know, I try to YouTube it, I try to look for it on forums. They were all saying, oh, just uh, uh, reset the suspension, tighten it up, do you know. And I was like, no, that's not it. It can't be. That's not that's not the you know, that's not how you solve the issue. And they're calling uh, Horizon Hobby, and they were awesome. They talked me through it. The biggest thing that they told me to do was change the oil. Change the oil after every five or every five or eight runs. Definitely change out the oil. Right. And, you know, change it out to a 35 weight. That's the stock oil weight. And just set it up. And that's it. And sure enough, as soon as I set that up, it brought the body right back up without messing with the suspension setup, without uh, messing with the spring rate or anything like that. So I made it good. And I, you know, shout out to Hobby Horizon out there. I know a lot of you people have said, oh, Horizon Hobby this, Horizon that. And they helped me out a lot. And resetting the Baja, they um, hooked me up with the new fan as well because that my fan got, uh, it stopped working the other day. Right. So they reset me with that uh, warranty part. So they're really good at, as for me, they've, they've treated me very well so far. And, you know, props to Horizon Hobby if you guys are listening. So thank you. Loving the Baja, loving the laser knot right now. So thanks guys for everything on your customer service, customer service right. out there. Yeah, man. So that it's great. Um, you know, I'm glad that uh, you're able to fix it. And of course, it's the you you weren't a, we weren't able to bring our Bajas uh, mm. on this weekend, but they were there. They were ready to go. But we were just a little overwhelmed already. We had been at the river for quite a while. And yeah. we just wanted to come home. So we'll definitely get shots of the new suspension that my brother has. He's also suge suggested to me to uh, do the front suspension uh, oil. Yeah. As it do is. the oil because the, you got my picture, right? I was changing out the oil and it was black. Right. It was just dirty. So I did front and back and some of the oil must have seeped out or something or because there was hardly any oil in the, in the shocks. And on all four yeah, they, corners. They work a lot harder than the crawlers, that's for sure. Yeah, they are. They're, These are always bouncing, you know. They're always um, compressing and 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 getting uh, dirt inside because it's so fine, you know, the dust and stuff like that. And that's why they get so so dirty. Real so, quick. Yeah, but definitely, I, definitely. If you <clears throat> if you haven't done the shots yet, take a picture of it so that everybody can see what I'm talking about. How it's drooping, where it's just kind of sitting low. Yeah. Take a picture of it, and then once you refill the shots, redo it, uh, refill the oil with some new one with 35 weight. You know, you can see the difference. It just automatically I'll, just reads. I'll show them a picture, but I probably won't do the shocks, not for a while at least. Um, I kind of read up also that it's kind of okay for it to droop a little bit, not too much, but I, I just want to go on, on based on what I kind of know about it, you know. So, yeah. um, like we said, this show is all about us. We probably don't make sense to a lot of you guys because maybe some of you are a lot smarter than us because you've been in the game a lot longer than we have, but we're just, um, explaining what we're going through, what we feel, what we see, what we read, and what we do. And speaking of um, fixing stuff, I was able to fix my drone. Um, the drone! Yeah, yeah, we saw pictures uh, of it this weekend. Um, I had mentioned before we went to a, a, a song break that uh, Losi versus Lazernut, and I was kind of happy that they had broken down a little bit. But not really. I mean, I wasn't happy, like, that happy. It's just the same. But uh, the, fun thing is, the funny thing is that I got revenge on it because it lost some parts. 
But regardless <laughs> of that, I was able to fix the drone. Uh, I saved myself like three, four hundred dollars because I bought the parts from uh, Amazon. They're authentic uh, parts, and the labor itself would have been a lot. That's why it cost like four hundred dollars to fix. But ridiculous. I was able to find a nice YouTube tutorial. My goodness! Shout out to um, what's that guy's name? Let me see if I have my phone on. <laughs> oh, it's right here. Hold on. Um, let's see. You know what? And that's what makes it makes this this uh, this hobby it's you know when you start breaking stuff you know you got to fix it why have why send it out to someone else to fix it when you know our hobby is things break on our on our seas whether it be suspension arms or be uh, you know something on the mortar right or opinion you know might as well to, um the guy on it. um on youtube his name is uh i repair md dude this guy had a, a tutorial on exactly what had happened to my drone step by step by step by st i'm telling you mikey this guy had it down to the to the wire to the wire bro and yeah i got the drone back up it hasn't flown yet um so i'm hoping it does fly i mean it does were you, able, were you able to fix the propellers as well because yeah, i noticed I, last I, time one was cracked the propellers and actually two of them had broken from different sides and um uh, also, the, the whole gimbal, the camera, but it's all fixed. Uh, it looks perfect. I wasn't able to launch it from the house because there's a lot of wires. So I'm going to wait till our next uh, outing. But mm. it worked. I mean, I, but they're talking about what? 50% rain this weekend. 50% yeah. rain. What are we going to do? Are I mean, we going to run the, the laser knots in the rain? Or are we going to run the Bajas? Or, well, you, or already gonna... you don't want to run the laser knots. Uh, the laser nuts. You don't want to run the Bajas in the rain because you don't want it to get all messed up. Oh man, that's part of the fun, man. That's yeah, well, you said it though. You're telling me. What do you mean? Oh man, you're the one that said that you don't want to run it through the water no more. No, there's a difference. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I want to run we're, my. Bike. We're not gonna. We're not gonna run it through the water. It's you know a nice little mud bath. Just maybe we'll see because uh, I would have to cover the holes on the tires because then oh, water would seep right. in and then they'll just start ballooning up. And, and then this is something bust. that we learned. On our own, man, and then we YouTube everything or research, then and that's how we <laughs> are ballooning. So anyway, so that's what happened, guys. Water seeps in, um, it balloons up, and it pops. Um, we appreciate all of you guys being on our show, uh, Mike. Excellent show once again uh, here on Dos Hermanos RC Radio Show. Uh, so, like you mentioned, it's gonna rain. Maybe we'll go it's crawling, fine. maybe not, but uh, we'll definitely have a new show next week for you guys. Once again, please comment down below. Um, what do you guys want us to talk about? Uh, if you have questions, by all means, please um, ask us. If, if we don't know the answer, we'll find it for you. We'll get an uh, expert to come on air. Um, if you are a business owner, if you are a builder, if you are a 3D printer uh, person that makes stuff, if whatever, if you contribute to the hobby, you want to be on our show, by all means, give us a... a, a, a a a buzz. Yeah, give us a buzz. Comment below. Hit us up on Instagram at those hermanos RC. You know, give us a give us some, some feedback. Let us know what you guys want to read about or what do you guys want to know about or more look into. Uh, we definitely want to do some more reviews on, on the current RCs out there. That's hopefully sometime. Um, you know, talking about you know 2020 going in and starting new projects. You know, it's it's hard to tell where we're gonna go with with our new projects. We have you know we just got into the sport so how do we start a new project you know and uh definitely we'll be talking about uh, my next build uh, i can't i kind of don't like to say what i'm gonna build but i have this one this is the gift my wife gave me for christmas and parts are starting to roll in uh literally rolling in because i have a new build and uh i already had this this uh idea in my mind it's gonna it's gonna be crazy because it's going to be like what really that but that's what i want to build so we'll talk about that later on my brother's looking at me like what's this guy gonna build sorry mikey it's gonna be good it's gonna be done quickly you don't like playing in the rain though you don't want it to get wet Ooh, yeah, well, i don't you want to get wet want to go well, anyways guys thank you so much for <laughs> mikey here on the dos hermanos rc radio show thanks for being on, the sh on my show bro all right. Well, thanks for being on my show, bro. So, <laughs> uh, next week, please, once again, subscribe, comment down below, follow us on Dos Hermanos uh, Instagram, and we'll see you guys soon. Thank you once again for everything, guys. You guys have a good night, man. Ow! Ciao. Ciao.
Broadcasting live from Los Angeles, California. This is Dos Hermanos RC Radio Show.